So you may have just picked up your iPhone 16 Pro and you're trying to figure out how you can use that LiDAR sensor on the back. Now, there are a couple of ways to go ahead and use it. There's not a dedicated way of like, there's not like a LiDAR application on our iPhone, but there are a lot of apps that utilize these types of, you know, that use this type of sensor. Now, at the core, if you're in your camera application or anything like that, there's not going to be like, like I said, a dedicated LiDAR application, but there's a few applications on the App Store that you can use to kind of showcase this LiDAR sensor. Now, number one, one of these applications is this, it's the Polycam 3D scanner, and it's the LiDAR 360 application. So this app basically will go ahead and kind of use that LiDAR sensor to allow you to make those 3D, you know, 3D, you know, objects. Now, like I said, I don't know how many people are going to find this practical, but this is an example of what you can use with that LiDAR sensor. So if we go ahead and basically open up this application, I already signed in, I already made all that. You can go and create a capture, and as long as you allow it to use your camera, you can start scanning things and kind of create these 3D objects. Now, if I go ahead and basically put my phone here, it's not the best example, but it will go ahead and kind of give you an example. So you can click record and it can kind of start using your LiDAR sensor to build out the you know, environment around you. And it actually is really, really cool. So now you can go and kind of move things around and kind of get an idea of basically what's going on. So if I had a dedicated object, it'd give me a better example, but it's using the LiDAR sensor to basically build out this landscape and build out everything around me. So it genuinely is a really cool type of sensor to use. And then if I wanted to stop it, I can click stop. And it's actually just built out this thing for me. Now, like I said, this is not a good example because it was like a whatever, but this is by using that LiDAR scanner, it's able to go and give me a better, kind of a better viewpoint of what's going on here. Now I'm going to go and do this again, right? I'm gonna go and click back. And I'm gonna make a different one. So here's a different one. It looks like the exact same one. I don't even know what it was trying to do. I guess this was like the camera here or something like that, but you kind of get the idea of what it's supposed to be doing. Inside of other applications, like the measure application that we have inside of our iPhone, inside of the you know Apple scanner that we have inside of our iPhone as well, there's a couple of different use cases you can use for your LiDAR sensor, but that's basically how to use it. Like I said, there's not a dedicated LiDAR sensor application on any of our iPhones, including the 15s all the way down to the 12 Pros but it's still a really nice sensor to have. And you know, I'm sure the more and more applications that use it, the more and more you're going to be able to see it in the future. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.